Hey y'all, Chuck here. So, am I ready to leave Thailand? <laughs> I've been in Thailand now for six months. And, uh, you know, I love Thailand. There's a lot of things I don't like about Thailand. Eh, not really a lot, but, uh, the noise, it's very noisy. Um, the pollution, a little bit of pollution. culture is a little different um, let's see language it's hard uh, <laughs> So in Thailand, you have to be careful when you're using the bathroom because sometimes you might run into things like this. I don't like things that crawl around anyway. There's a lot of safety concerns and <laughs> whatever, you really got to pay attention to where you're going. Um, let's see. You know, there's a lot of things <clears throat> that I don't like. But when I think about going back to America, I start, I start getting like, uh, there's just no way. So when I think about uh, what's next for me, nothing. I'm staying in Thailand. I love it here. Uh, there's so many things that I love about Thailand versus what I don't like about Thailand. And when I, every time I think about the negative things here, um, I think about my life in America. So let's just assume, okay, I'm sick and tired of this place and I'm gonna go back. Uh, so now what? I gotta go home, I gotta get a job, I gotta get a house or rent a house, I gotta buy a car, I gotta get insurance. Uh, you know, just responsible stuff like that uh, that keeps you from or keeps me from doing the everyday things that I like to do, like, I don't know, enjoy life. Maybe walk down there and go fishing. Uh, maybe go for a walk. Uh, 
exercise, travel, go hiking. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I got tired of doing those things just on the weekend or maybe once or twice a year. But, you know, I, I think about a lot of things. You know, in America, uh, it's still hot and it gets cold and there's pollution. In Houston, the air quality sucked horribly. Um, as far as, you know, cultures and stuff like that, it got to the point to where nobody even talked to anybody and everybody just kind of hateful against each other you know i just you know like during christmas time you got to fight with people to to buy crap at the walmart you know i just <laughs> i don't know it's not for me i love it here in thailand i've been here six months uh i think six months is a good time to know whether or not you're going to be comfortable living in any place uh you know whenever you decide to move out of the country i think it's best to uh somehow give it a shot for at least a couple months to really kind of acclimate yourself and see if it's something that you're uh, able to adapt to but uh been here six months um i think if you're going you know it all depends on why you're here in thailand also uh, I'm kind of out of civilization, I guess you could say. I don't live in a big city where there's a lot of people that speak uh, English. I have my Thai wife that really without her would be very difficult for me to live in Isan. I would still do it. Uh, I think I go out and I manage my day dealing with people and talking to people and it's still, it's still manageable uh, with learning a few Thai words. But uh, I think if you're living in like, if you're if you're the type of person where you've got to, if you're out of the, if you're here in Thailand and you've got to be close to the norm of what you're used to in life, I don't know, I don't know how long you can deal with that because you have to deal with other foreigners like you and. Uh, I don't know, you gotta rely on your friends and friends change. <laughs> so, if I lived in the city amongst other foreigners, and you know, it'd be a lot different for me. I, uh, <clears throat> I like, I prefer this better. But the thing about Thailand is if we decide that we wanna move somewhere else for a couple months, it's so cheap to do that. We could go live by the ocean for two months uh, for little to no money. We just uh, planned our itinerary, not really our itinerary, but we're going to travel to South Thailand. And uh, we kind of looked at some places that we're gonna stay. You know, we're gonna be gone for, I don't know, a month and probably won't spend more than 6,000 baht on places to stay. So uh, to travel here in Thailand versus America is really cheap. We traveled around in a travel trailer for six months in America, which was very awesome. It was a very awesome adventure. And uh, we spent probably 12 grand uh, staying at RV parks and, and traveling around. Probably wouldn't spend 12 grand in a year here in Thailand. But anyway, just wanted to let you know where I was at. Uh, six months later into Thailand, whether I still liked it or not, I had a few people ask me if I was homesick. No, still sick of home. <laughs> not, not homesick. Uh, I couldn't imagine going back into the grind again. And uh, it's just not for me. I just, uh, yeah, I can't do it. I miss my family. I miss my kids. I talk to them on the... Uh, you know, live on the internet whenever I want to. Plus, we'll be going back to visit at least once, try to at least once a year. Um, but, uh, you know, they got their own separate working lives too. So when you, even though you live close to your family, it doesn't mean you see them all the time because you have to work and be productive as well. So now at this point, I could go home and spend three months with them if I wanted to. So, but anyway, life is good here in Thailand. Uh, yeah, there's good things and bad things anywhere in the world that you go. It just uh, depends on your flexibility and how you can deal with different things in life. And uh, I'm happy. It's beautiful. So, yeah.
All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the channel, subscribe. If you like the videos, hit like, uh, share. We uh, got a big adventure coming here in the next couple days. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.